brothers and sisters, generals, brothers and sisters, younger or older, family members. We alive and breathing. We are back to be fired up. And good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever time zone you're in. You know, things we got to learn in this life. You know, pay attention, be analytical, you know, and keep our minds clear. And I wanted to bring, a, you know, a, a positive message this morning. You know, I always say set that tone every morning, whether we got a job or not. Just get ourselves ready because every day can be a triumph, triumph, even if it's, you know, somewhat challenging. We can turn it into a triumph, real talk, and master one's emotions and go beyond the human body. It can be done. We've had plenty of examples throughout history. You know, I always use Malcolm X and Bruce Lee as a prime example of mastering one's emotion, emotions and sticking to the purpose. And the purpose is finding peace. And then that peace will lead to a lot of other great things. But in order to su sustain that peace, we have to master one's emotions. Because as we see in social media in some areas, some people's minds all over the place, which I have been there. And I use an example from a great brother when that compass, that needle and that compass isn't straight and that needle just jumping all over the place. That's not good, folks. You know, if we can't control it, you know, unless we're we have some kind of medical condition or something that prevent us from mastering one's emotions. But it's something we have to do on purpose. We have to practice it. I haven't always been able to master one's emotions. But when we do it when we see the results from it, we get better at it. And uh, it's not always got to be, you know, when we're working on ourselves and we digging all the, the stuff up that's within us that we have harbored for so long. It don't always have to be a bad thing. It can be fun. Learning new things about the human body, brother or sister, male or female, younger or older, can be very fun. I'm talking about as far as our mind and seeing what makes us tick, you know. And we learn ourselves to prevent things from happening so we can live the most peaceful life we can possibly live. So that's why we got a lot of reachers and teachers out here. The real ones, you know, we know the real ones when we feel it. Notice I said feel, not see. We have to feel it, feel it in our gut, good or bad. And that's anything in the world, person, place or thing. So just stay at it. Let nothing stop us, especially if we have gotten to a place of peace. Don't you dare. Let that devil sway you, you know, stay in this fight. You know, it's worth the battle having a sense of clarity. It's the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Self-awareness is the best education overall. You can get all the education. For, you can get the worldly education, the school, the science. Everything is under that umbrella of Mother Nature and that great divine. Real talk. But also go outside of the box so we can stay aware of things, you know, and that's person place or thing because because you know as we know in this world those who are who who are toxic and those who hide it you know every now and then they might try to slip something past us but the great divine always bring it back around full circle if it don't come through some kind of dream or sign or or some kind of divine spirit it'll come through a person that cares about us brother or sister because uh, it's something that that's this is another thing I like about I love about being righteous and why it's worth, you know, the battle. It's worth going within and working out things and going through the uncomfortable stages that the valley, you know, it's, it's worth going through the valley because it can't it can't rain all the time. You know, at some point, the sun is going to shine. We got to stay at it, though, you know, even when it's raining, we still fierce. We can have sunshine in our heart even on the days when it's so-called raining because it's all about the perception how we see of the world and how we see of ourselves our children our family you know it always come down to how individual feel deep 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 within to the bottom of the barrel thong because it's just so many things and that you know i always talk about free will how we throw that word free will around you know and forget all about the consequences because that's great divine gave Many melanated brothers and sisters, many great gifts and qualities, but he didn't give us a lot of gifts and powers and stuff without consequences. And I know it's kind of cliche, but as we always all heard, 
uh, with, with come what comes with power, uh, accountability all day, every day. There's no, you don't get power and no accountability. You're going to get accountability because you have a lot. You have some that aren't very aware and there's some that's, I won't say looking for a leader, but is inspired by leaders. And that could be in the world, in our families, our personal lives. Could be a speaker we like listening to online or offline. You know, got take that brain above and beyond. And welcome to another edition of EVX Discussion, by the way. And uh, welcome to to Egypt. This is Egypt on my banner here, and uh, AKA Kemet. And this is this represents a place of serenity. You know, we got to empty our mind so we can see things around us clearly just paying attention it keeps us sharp you know as i as i as i said master one's emotions and go beyond this human body it can be done it has been done you know because i i studied you know when i'm offline i do stu i do study sometimes i need to get back to writing I, I write notes every now and then but i need to get back into it but i, I study individuals that embody that that master one's emotions and able to move through life with no hiccups or drama or nothing because it's wonderful you know less stress and no stress at all you got we got to take stress serious it's more than just a word stress will tear your butt down you know again unless we have some kind of medical con medical condition something we can't control you know but again control the things we can control i put emphasis on that there is a way whether if there's a will if there's a divine will there's a way I always do that 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 little that itty bitty the little bit of introspection of those impossible things we thought were impossible that we power through that is our energy source that's what keep us mastering one's emotions and it keep us what not jumping off impulses because you know always expect the unexpected then we, we we'll miss a lot of heartache and wrong feelings and wrong thoughts because when we are a student of human nature we know why individuals have certain behaviors, whether it's brother or sister, younger or older. So we step back and see why they're behaving a certain way. Or if we or happen to jump off an impulse or make a human error. Of course, if we have already studied, we know what it is. So that's why it's important to study one's emotions, not to sound uh, intelligent, intelligent or smile, sound like this smart person. No, it's a way of life. And like I said, you miss a lot of drama. You see things more clearly. It helps to when you master one's emotions, it helps to see the inner things that goes on with our children, you know, because especially my children, you know, very smart, witty, honest. You know what I mean? Just very intelligent. So that's when we take that the enemy, I always say the enemy of ego and, and all that and listen to our children, communicate with them, you know. So they'll talk to us. You, we don't you know. We as parents, I'm not an expert. It's just a, a experience. We as parents, you know, we have to sometimes listen to our youth, you know, and not always jump all over them because this is their just like we went through our era. Those that were born in the 60s and maybe around the 70s and on through the 80s, you know, around that era, you know, those who I say were in the 50s or on up or around that age, you know. We went through our era. Now we guide the youth through their era. You know, they're going to make their mistakes. They're going to go through their human growth spurt and all that. And that's young brother, a young sister. So, and I, I have to watch myself too. Or what I don't, I try not to judge and got to realize every generation has to go through their adolescent, adolescent stage. They have to go through their growth spurt. Some come into their own and become successful in their mind. And some don't. Some get there soon, some get there later. But if we if they got adults around them that will guide them, it would always be in their spirit, their divine spirit. We got to tap into that divine spirit of our youth and teach them to master their emotions, our significant other. If we have one, you know, teach each other to master one's emotions, read up on it or something or listen to someone that's an expert on emotions. Because that, like I said, that's what I do when I'm offline. I listen to someone that really that really studies mastering one's emotions, you know, uh, as you know, like uh, Bruce Lee, Malcolm X. They definitely were a, a epitome of mastering one's 
emotions. That's what I like about Bruce Lee because he was more than just a martial artist. He also studied the human body, the mind. He really got within himself and seen what makes the human body tick. That's why so many outsiders, people who came against him, always underestimated him because of his size. And that's where we make the mistake, brothers and sisters. Just an example, hypothetic, underestimating. You know, I would say that the enemy never underestimate anyone. Keep ourselves sharp. That way, we, I mean, person, place, or thing, not just person. But always expect the unexpected. And I think, and Malcolm X, same thing, underestimation, folks. Something that a lot of us brothers and sisters have. Like I said, most of our reachers and teachers out here, you know, when people know when you have that true power within, you know, sometimes it's just undeniable. And that comes from the fires that we have been through. And that's what makes a lot of us somewhat aggressive and powerful. And we, a lot of us reaches and teaches salute, whether in the world and our families, those who ain't taking no shit. That's because we have finally mastered one's emotions. And you always hear a lot of us say, don't compare to each other and, don't hate on anyone, hate on anyone because we don't know what individuals went through to get to the space that they're in or they are or they're at. You know what I mean? Real talk. So then we do something like, oh, man, I didn't know they went through that. I didn't know he or she went through that. That's why we got to stop that. Then we we bring karma on our own selves. I always say even when we're by ourselves, have positive thoughts. You know, we have and if we have certain thoughts or a wrong emotion try to enter study that emotion study that a thought that thought i always say separate uh you know a concerned thought detach it from our emotion see where the thoughts coming from why are we getting it like i was speaking on yesterday about it's been i've been this dating phenomenon that's going on and uh it's in the media i've been seeing that a lot of men i would say uh whether a brother or just a, or just a man in general, a lot of them are not dating anymore. And it's not like I'm talking about just like they're just be, they're independent. They're on their own. It ain't no fuddy duddy shit. Nothing like that. It's just, you know, men are not putting in the effort to date anymore. This is the phenomenon that's going on. And I've been seeing clips of I hate, you know, most of most of them are Caucasian girls, but they're crying. And because guys are not paying attention to them. If you are crying and whining, now, this is I'm not trying to beat up on nobody or nothing. It's just something I've been seeing in the media. You know, again, I've been through my gr growth spurt and practicing one's emotions. And I used to fly off the handle and have an attitude. You know, when you're not aware of yourself, you you your triggers are just off the chart. So but, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to beat down on the one. I don't make light of someone who are who is not in touch with their emotions and things on the outside. External things uh, taps in to their triggers so but that's why i got like stuff like this on my banner you know this is how we got to be in our mind we have to find a place of serenity so we can reason with ourselves as i learned from my great brother but um it, like i said it's this dating phenomenon i've been seeing in the media and you know brothers men we just I mean, let's just be frank we're getting tired of not all women now not all sisters but the ones who are toxic we're just getting tired of the bullshit let's keep it real you know, we can't sugarcoat shit anymore. You know, if if we if we want things to change and this for brother or sister and, 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 if, and, and the same thing for the, the sisters or the females, the same thing. A lot of them are getting tired of toxic brothers or men shit. So it's either or it's not more. It's just I've been seeing more videos of girls talking about or women or females or sisters talking about how guys are not paying them any mind anymore. But most clips I've seen been Caucasian girls. You know, whining and crying. Are you freaking serious? I wouldn't, you know, I've never really been like that for real. I've always kept to myself, you know, because I, I used to be really shy and all that. But now I've turned that energy into silence. You know, I'm now it's not a shy thing. It's just how I move. And it's sometimes it's just part of our character. But we do learn the importance of connecting with brothers and sisters and family and children. And I, too, know this, too. But solitude and getting in touch with that soul deep within is also very important. Because if you just going and going and going and running and running and running, and we have too much traffic in our psyche and in our mind, we're not reasoning with our own selves. 
How in the hell are we going to be able to reason with others? We have to get off in the space to ourselves and figure things out, you know. And, and, and I mean, if we don't practice, we're going to keep doing what we're used to doing and used to being and used to saying and used to thinking. We'll be in that mindset for the rest of our lives. We got to do, do things different. Out of body experience experiences. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. You hear, you hear a lot of us brothers and sisters that are in touch with that divine spirit deep within. You hear a lot of us speak on this. It's not just me. You know, it's just this is just a divine spirit we feel within. And as I said, most or all melanated brothers and sisters have that divine spirit within. Just a matter of tapping into it. And it means something different to every melanated brother and sister. But the one thing that it has in common, that it puts that, that spiritual common, you know, because common ain't too common these days. But I mean, those who are in touch with that deep conscience, deep within, you know, we all are drawing energy from that same divine spirit. Be thankful, be grateful if you're able to do that, because it's not an easy process to get to. And we have to take that spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment in there with us when we're dealing with, you know, brotherhood, real brotherhood now, or, or you know, our friendship or relationships. We have to put that divine spirit teachings in there and, you know, and don't be stuck in the house all the time. Get your ass out in nature. Do something different. You know, get in the park, look up to the sky, talk to that great divine, talk to mother nature, you know, speak things into existence. Don't just stay in a small space whining and crying. It's not going to get you no damn where, you know, and why? Like I said, the dating phenomenon that's going on, I've been seeing in the media. These individuals have to learn to be by themselves for a while and kind of, you know, kind of shake things off that keep us in a perpetual cycle of drama, you know, and that crying and boo-hooing. That ain't nothing but just tearing yourself down, tearing your immune system down. Get to the core of the matter and see what's going on and fix it if possible you know but don't carry toxic shit within and never ever project any issue we have with ourselves within our body mind body and soul never ever project it onto no one else because eventually it will come back around to yourself that's what individuals you know brother or sister young or older family member don't realize when they hurt someone whether you think you're sneaking or getting away with it or if you're just doing anything evil in the world, whether it's high status, low status, the moment you intentionally and it's toxic, depending on how bad it is, will determine the impact. But whenever we send out evil, evil or anything toxic out into the universe, out into the world, you're you are hurting yourself. Eventually, it will come back around, especially when there's, there's never no need to be evil or devilish ever. So if you do that then you have just set your own demise. So, and that's something, that's why, and I don't care how cosmic people think it is. You know, when you have experienced divine things happen over and over, you begin to say, okay, it, it's a positive force out there, but you have to take the time to tap into it, to feel it. Then we might see it and we see it in ourselves, see it in others. We'll see divine things manifest in our lives and our children. And, that that divine that divine force will show us that it exists every now and then and as we know it comes in a dream i got podcast on here when i spoke on how things can manifest in our dreams i've had many dreams you know we have to empty our mind of unnecessary shit that don't belong in there and then once we empty our mind of unnecessary shit all the wonderful cosmic divine things and the things that Mother Nature developed in us since from birth. Like I said, most of us were ordained since birth. As I said yesterday on the podcast, we were not born in sin. That is BS. You know, might have been born into a little bit of manipulation. Because when we're born as brother or sister, male or female, we don't know nothing about no sin. We don't have no train of thought yet. We are just learning stuff. We are just learning vibrations and stuff like that so how in the hell is we born in sin when we don't even know nothing about sin or nothing yet even though it's in our essence as a baby you know it's in our essence we begin to know right from wrong but we, we are not born in sin we're born in a sinful world but we as humans are not born in sin 
We're born into manipulating, being manipulated to thinking we're in sin. Because it's like right off the bat, we are born into feeling guilty right off the bat. And then there we go. The race begins. And right there, it's like this world we're born into. It's like automatically try to separate us from our divine self right off the bat. And then we we spend our whole some of us now, some of us are fortunate. We connect young. You know, I connected a little later in life, I think. I've always kind of had that divine spirit in me, but didn't what wasn't in tune with oneself, so I hardly ever paid attention to it, didn't see the signs. So when we are born into this manipulation, we spend our whole lives searching for this inner peace. So that's why I say it's bull. We are not born into sin. You know, we're born into a sinful world that manipulate us and try to keep us from getting in touch with that divine spirit within. And that's brother, sister, young or older, family member. But when we finally do, and if many have been on this journey like me, like like I said, I said to myself, like, what took so long? Why could did not? It's so many things I said, like, man, why can't I have done this sooner? But Something my mama always said, my mama said, or always used to say, she probably still say, everything happens for a reason. So I, I've said many times, the trials and tribulations we went through, and the crying and the tears and the sad, everything we go through that don't make us feel so good, it's just something to build us and make us stronger, you know, for things to come. Because we, we, we never know what that great divine has lying ahead. That's what he does. That's what, that's what that force does. Never tells us, but it shows us signs because it shows us signs and dreams and things here and there just to keep our focus sharp, you know, because the great divine couldn't give us everything we ever wanted. It'd be too overwhelming. We'll probably have a heart attack. That's how powerful that force is. So uh, as I said in the past, it has to give, depending on the individual too, because some of us can't handle great divine gifts. We take it and squander it and mess it all up. So certain individuals it gives little gifts here and there to kind of test us give it might give us a little a little grace or a little blessing or it might give abundance you know it just depends on who we are because again as i said mother nature and that great divine no one knows our heart better than those two forces so that's why it gives us small gifts sometimes big gifts but i tell you the greatest gift overall where we can see things and help our children, our families, and, you know, help those who, who listen to us and speak and generals that's riding along with us. Master one's emotions and you'll never go wrong. I guarantee it. My leaders and teachers with a student spirit. Let's get into a summary and we're going to have another meditative moment. And I, I love and, you know, another thing when we master one's emotions, we get more creative. We go deeper into things and we do come up with solutions. And I'm telling you, we start seeing those results. That's what make us fired up to go deeper into ourselves and then reason with others. And then because you, you have to like cleanse how we think and, and get away from the complaining and the whining and cleaning all that shit out. So then when we do, we have to go off to ourselves. As I said, and I learned from a great brother. Salute. Once we figure things out within ourselves and reason with ourselves. Then we get back into the dating scene because when you have an analytical mind, not over analytical, but just like really paying attention to why sometimes dating goes south, pay attention. Even if it still does, at least you'll have an understanding about it. Then you won't go into a, a relationship looking for something wrong in, in an individual. No, really, Try to get to know them and this brother or sister, vice versa. Really try to get to know them, see who they are, you know, spend time with them. You know, if there's something wrong, just keep it simple. You know, you know, I don't like when you do this or I don't like when you do that. You know, talk about your likes and your don't, your 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 your, your do's and your don'ts and what you like and what you don't like. And if each one can not come to a common ground and there's no and you're not compatible, then that's when you split up. But it don't have to be a beef or nothing bad. We got to get out of that. That's another thing, especially melanated brothers and sisters, you know, the, the baby mama thing and all that. Notice you never hear me say baby mama. I always say son's mama because I, I I don't I got out of that too. this 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 baby mama saying. But I'll speak the way the world speaks. But the baby mama drama thing, we got to stop that shit. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. You know, 
being beefing and going back and forth and tearing people's shit up it's ridiculous it, that is not mature and especially if you have children and children we have to stop underestimating children children can children see everything that goes on and they feel they have energy too they feel things just like we do those who are aware and have and are in touch with that divine spirit children feel things too so never underestimate what a child feels whether young brother or young sister so that's why we have to watch the things we do around children and we can't get stuck in our own dumb ass feelings because you know if you don't have respect you know for others you know and you don't care how you affect others with toxic ways then guess what you're gonna find yourself by yourself so even if we do go in, you know go uh, dating or something and then you know maybe it don't work out that, that don't no there's no need to get down and out you know something I always pull from Aaliyah and that's why I love Aaliyah may she rest in peace and in power it's a that song that she made touch yourself off and try again first you don't succeed touch yourself off and try again Touch yourself off and try again. That's something I always remember about Aaliyah in that song. And you remember the lyrics in that song, what she said. If it if, if it don't work out the first day, maybe it'll work out the next day. See, we it's like we got to get out of this microwave of thinking. And also thinking things are always going to go our way. Because you a fool. If you trapped in entitlement and thinking everything and you try to control everything and you want everything to go your way you try to make everything go your way Woo! you're talking about a perpetual cycle of hell and misery real talk so and okay you can't get wrapped up in feelings like tina turner said what's love got to do with it real talk and you as you see in that movie you see what toxicity does and it's it's a ripple effect it's a wrong ripple effect we want a righteous ripple effect because uh, when you're getting mad because somebody don't want to be with you, that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. I would never get mad about nothing like that. Now, we all get certain feelings and emotions when we kind of get connected to someone. But people are, especially if they're adult, they're grown. People have their own mind. You can't make someone do something you want. You have to reach inside yourself not to impress no one or fill a void or try to impress the world or post some lie on social media make it look like you're happy and you're not deal with those inner feelings and be the best of yourself for yourself or ourself you know so you know being mad at the world because things are not going your way you know it, it, that's not going to cut it you know master one's emotions and you know go beyond these stupid ass petty human thoughts in this human body i'm telling you it's the gift that keeps on giving you know so, again, we can hear positive things and, and, and good things from the outside, but in speakers and stuff like that, things that can help us, therapy, all that. But it ain't going to mean a damn thing if it's not sinking in and we're not incorporating it into our lives. That's those who, who like to perpetuate drama. You know, hey, go right on the head. You know, hey, go ahead and live that miserable ass life because you're not those that got that light and reaches and teachers out here, brother or sister, we ain't taking no shit. You know, a lot of us are very kind, but we ain't dummies, you know, just because we don't react to certain things don't mean we're stupid or naive. No, that's called maturity. There's a big difference. So master one's emotions. If you want to live somewhat of a good life and a great life, but we have to practice and do things to maintain our sanity and our in our place of peace. All right, leaders and teachers with a student spirit. I'm going to get into this summary. Why is it important to master our emotions? Mastering our emotions improves our resilience. Life is filled with challenges, as you hear many of us teachers say, and setbacks. Emotionally resilient individuals are better equipped to bounce back from adversity. I said, I think on a podcast yesterday, some of us just have that knack of always finding a way. We always come out unscathed. I don't care how impossible they look or seem. And I've experienced this. So most of us who are aware and enlightened these days, I'm sure, you know, they have experienced it too. So, yep, we are better equipped to bounce back from adversity. And I've been through, man, many. Learn from their experiences. That's what creates a, a powerful brother 
That's what uh, an insister and keeps us from being petty. Learn, you know, you learn what not to do. You know, if you know it's wrong, it ain't right. Don't freaking do it. You know, come on now. Stop letting the devil rule, rule our mind. All right. Uh, learn from their experience, from our experiences. Emphasis on that. That's a must because that's that's our energy source. All right. And continue striving and thriving for excellence. You know, I, I actually made a video about that. Thriving excellence. Mastering our emotions can lead to a better inspirational relationships something i was just speaking on mastering one's emotions like i was just speaking on this phenomenon about dating and seeing these meltdowns on social media and social media like i said if you use social media for positive things maybe therapeutic purposes to you know to help us ease our mind and, and you know kind of maintain our sanity you know positive things is good but having meltdowns and putting all your business and all your drama on social media, uh, I kind of find something. I kind of find a problem with that. I think something wrong with that. You know, if you want to speak on issues about dating, the ways of the world, do it in an intellectual way, an intelligent way, not a meltdown where you're on social media. <laughs> really? No, that's not mastering one's emotions. That's letting that devil tap in and having you worry, complaining, and moaning. You know, you're not going to get anywhere like that. You know, that, that I mean, it's okay to cry. Shit. You can shed tears. Tears is good because it cleanses the soul. But what do we have? What? How's our mind? How's our way of thinking? That's what's important, you know. So, you know, it, it's things. I have battles every now and then. I might have maybe two, three weeks, a month, sometimes a year. Things can go smooth and then boom. Some will come out of, out of nowhere. And then that's when we study, you know. But you have a lot more smooth moments. And sometimes those smooth moments will be by ourselves. That's when we take the time to learn ourselves. Don't take don't take being alone for granted. You know, don't take it as, oh, I'm alone and all that. Take that time and use it to learn yourself. You know, if you feel, if you do have that emotion of feeling alone, see why you feel alone. Why do you feel that way? Do you feel the need that you have to be, have someone just because you're alone? And that's the wrong way to date we don't don't ever never date out of desperation Ooh, we never date out of desperation especially if you're a lustful person Woo, been there done that you have to be careful of that and you know when you have conquered lust you know every now and then that little lust bug will try to pop back up every now and then but if you master oneself you know you can control it. you know because you know I, I'm, I'm a man you know i see a sister like nice beautiful sister with a voluptual body of course the thought is going to enter my mind when you know she got nice behind or big boobs or something but we learn to master one's emotions you know we practice it and we stay at it you know when when people do different things i'm just speaking it as an example hypothetic especially when it comes to dating the opposite sex when they just do little different things and we don't understand don't be taken back by it you know as i said folks all melanated brothers and sisters, everybody in the whole wide world, to be honest, I've said this before too, but especially melanated brothers and sisters. As I said, pretty much all of us were born into manipulations, just different levels. Some, some cultures are racist. Don't some people in cultures are racist. I will say don't realize that they're a part of the manip manipulation too, you know, but that's neither here nor there. You have to do your research. But as I said, m m most of us are born into manipulation. So we all, as I said, the whole world basically have been under or are under some kind of conditioning, whether we know it or not. But you won't know it if we're not tapped in to that inner spirit deep within our soul. You know, that that the inner spirit that keep us sane and keep us like i said seeing the reasoning and the logic in things you know it's wonderful when we can get to that space but I always put emphasis it is very very it, it can be very very challenging to get to a, a a space where we can master one's emotion and go beyond the human body you know but when we do be thankful cultivate that don't lose it stay with it you know don't let things sway us or be taken back by things no in understand every individual we come into even because 
again expect the unexpected that then that way you won't be as hurt you know you won't be feeling sad or down you you'll understand like i said because i run into you know i'm like i said i'm not perfect or you know or nothing like that i'm a human just like anybody else but but i do consider myself somewhat aware you know it took a while to get to this state but we know when we know right so when we run into individuals that are are not maybe i don't know or have some i won't say not aware but maybe not aware of a behavior that they they have or you know just used to thinking a certain way or being a certain way you know we gotta we gotta think about that you know not everybody thinks alike you know but those of us that are like-minded we we have brilliant minds alike but not everybody thinks alike or acts alike and we never know what an individual has deep within so that's how my opinion my you know just my opinion that's how we should go into every day you know whether it's brother or sister you know go in there go in analytical you know and if it's something we don't like or whatever we tell them you know we don't wait till later or nothing like that this is if we are aware you know so because you know of course we don't just start out having sex and, and lusting and all that and don't even know the person because that's mistakes i've made in the past not getting to know an individual and and start out having sex and not even dating the person and getting to know them first and then all these things come out later then it's like like i use the example you know how you learn on a job you know it, it's good to get to know an individual and date and, and coat and was court is according court a little bit we got to bring court courting back like like the old school like the old players used to do it you know like well not players but you know what i mean like like the golden school used to do court a person plur, uh, person plur, I'm, I'm stuttering court a person first and it will benefit you in the end and we think of these things when we master one's emotions it's the gift that keeps on giving i'm telling you it's time to go beyond this human body especially melanated brothers and sisters we know we it's too much history you know it's too many amazing things we have done and we can do you know to be stagnant and crying and whining because i refuse to be a complainer a whiner no i'm gonna do what that great divine has is, is put in all of us melanated brother spirit you know it's been in all of us it's just a matter of tapping into it paying attention to it and maintaining that inner peace that inner warrior that all my melanated brothers and sisters have young or older family member so i want i want to read this summary one more time because i think it's important you know master our emotion mastering our emotions emotions improves our resilience life is filled with challenges as we all know and setbacks emotionally emotionally resilient individuals are better equipped to bounce back from adversity learn from our experiences and we will man i'm telling you we will conquer anything and uh, and continue striving and thriving in excellence and for excellence mastering our emotions can lead to better inspirational relationships and that's what we want and remember we talk about friendships relationships brotherhood real brotherhood and real sisterhood and, and family and that's what it's all about remember the core never forget the core family keep a family spirit you know like i say you know just a little advice for those who may be having a little challenge in dating you know I'm, I'm single too you know challenging dating can be crazy but if if you can't if you don't you know because everybody's different i know we get those emotions but you have to learn to be with thyself in order to be be with everyone else you know if you don't know how to be alone you're going to have issues you're going to have problems you know that's when you find yourself that's when you learn yourself when you're alone there don't have to be no sad deep daunting thing no it's a divine thing get to know yourself and you know take a little time off from dating if you've been dating for a while and you know learn yourself like i say listen to those who have an expert in dating and you know uh, whether brother or sister you know if you're a female or a sister you know listen to a, a sister that has an expert in that that's an expert in dating and has a, you know a good quality experience same thing with the brothers you know go to some therapy get help don't just keep dating willy-nilly you know what i mean get in touch with oneself learn yourself then you will be a mirror then you'll be be able to see things in others whether good or bad you know this is just my my just opinions you know stuff i've experienced you know 
when you pay attention, you learn stuff, you know, you learn what not to do. And then dating, and you can't have this thing in your mind where you think, oh, dating's complicated and it's nobody good. No, it's all how we perceive things. And as I heard a great brother say, how we, we attract what we are. And that's real talk. Now, that's not mine. I heard that from another brother. And, and that's real talk. So that's why we have to take those moments to ourselves and see who we are. You know, if we are attracting the wrong people, see why the hell we're attracting the wrong people. What the hell are we doing wrong? You know, can't always point the finger, brothers and sisters. Can't always point the finger, you know, because, you know, this is an old cliche, but I like to say it. It's, I think it's vital. We point that one finger at everybody, at everything or everyone else. It's not going to do a damn thing because the one finger we point out at the world, what it say, four fingers are pointing right back at us. Or should we say five? They all point right back at us. You know, and I use another in analogy. A lot of us heard, but I think it's vital too. one finger. And I said this before, but I say it again. One finger can't do a damn thing to help ourselves, humanity and or culture. But you ball up a fist like a team, you know, like those who are connected divinely real to the pit of the soul. But you put all those five fingers together and ball up a fist, we could strike a mighty blow, you know, and, and that blow is tapping in to our emotional divine self. We got to tap in master one's emotions. I'm begging you, man. It's the gift that keeps on giving. You know, we got to get out of that baby mama drama shit. You know, we can't keep perpetuating the same thing over and over because the thing about not mastering one's emotions and not paying attention to what we're doing and because time goes by when when because when you're lost in chaos and drama you're not paying attention to nothing you know you're just lost in especially on that that what i call it the hamster on the wheel mentality time going by you, i mean you can literally have literally have years going by wasting time on petty dumb drama shit so that's why we master one's emotions especially if we have children because remember, folks, and this is something everybody can agree on. The future is going to come. So do what we got to do to better ourselves. Don't always point the finger at person, place, or thing. Because sometimes it's things on the outside, but sometimes it's us too. So that's why we have to master one's emotions and go beyond this human body. Salute, brothers and sisters, generals, family. Regions and teachers all over the world. Man, and online and offline in my family. So, man, I'm telling you, if you want to flourish in this life and, man, and thrive, man, and, and, and have it where you can see everything that's coming at you, I'm telling you, master one's, one's emotions. I'm telling you, and it's time, brothers and sisters, it's time. It's time to stop playing and tap into that power that so many of us have. Just laying dormant inside, just waiting to be manifested. Man, I'm telling you, please master one's emotions. It'll benefit you in the future. And man, go beyond this human body. Salute.